Hi friends, today we are going to study about ethical guidelines or what are the ethics of doing clinical trials. Let me see what are the ethical guidelines. We already discussed about what is clinical study. As we know, it is a research using human volunteers or participants and we are using our knowledge. When we go through the history of clinical trial, ICMR, that is the Indian Council of Medical Research, in 1980 February, released a policy statement. How we have to do or what are the ethical considerations involved in research on human subjects. This ICMR first policy statement give an idea about what are the official guidelines for establishment of an ethical committee in all the medical college and research centers. This is the basic of doing the studies in colleges and research centers in India. The first ethical guidelines for biomedical research on human subjects was published in the year 2000 and revised in 2006 and 2017. This clinical trial we can also see in the Drug and Cosmetic Act under Schedule Y part. This guideline have elaborated based on the three basic ethical principles. We have to respect for the person. It should be beneficiary and justice should be included by using the 12 general principles. As a pharmacist or as a medical student, we should know what are the 12 general principles or what are the things we have to follow while doing a clinical trial. We should think about the principles of essentiality, whether it is needed or not. Principle of voluntariness, informed consent and community agreement. That is also very, very important. We have to use the voluntary participant. We have to create an informed consent and an agreement should be done. And principle of non-exploitation. We should not exploit the participant or the sponsors. And principles of privacy and confidentiality should be maintained. Principle of precaution and risk minimization. Principle of professional Principle of accountability and transparency. Whatever we are doing, it should be well documented and should be transparent to the investigator or sponsors or the regulatory authority. And the eighth one is principle of maximization of the public interest and of distributing justice. It should be, if you are getting a good thing from the clinical trial, it should be equally distributed. That is known as distributive justice. And it should be having a public interest we have to carry out. Principle of institutional arrangement, principles of public domain, principles of totality of responsibility, as well as principle of compliance. These are the 12 principles we should maintain while doing clinical trials. So, the main important thing is the informed consent process. So, in the informed consent process, three components are the we have to provide the relevant information to the participant and that information should be comprehended and we have to assure the voluntariness of the participation. If we are involving a biomedical and health research using the human participant, it is a primary responsibility of the principal investigator or researcher. We have to obtain what? We have to obtain written informed consent of the participant or legally acceptable or authorized representative. While doing the clinical trial or sometimes we may heard about the ethics committee or ethical committee. So before the ethical committee all research proposal on biomedical, social and behavioral science should be submitted. So it will include the human participant, the biological material and data. And whatever data they are getting, they should be reviewed and approved by the ethical committee. This is done to safeguard the dignity, rights, safety and well-being of the research. Ethical committee should be registered with the relevant regulatory authority. For example, in our college, if any ethical committee is the we have to register under the regulatory authority in our district or 
connecting to the higher official under the drug and cosmetic act and it should be registered by the cdseo if an institution can have one or more than one ethical committee that is done when in the case of uh, cases were to review large numbers of research proposal and both the ethical committee will work on different aspect of the research in that case institution may have one or more than one ethical committee so let me see the composition of ethical committee chairperson or vice chairperson is the chairperson is must vice chair chairperson optional so it is a non affiliated person qualification means the person having a background prior experience while acting as a or in a ethical committee member secretary or alternate member secretary it should be a staff member of the particular institution should have a sufficient knowledge and experience in clinical research and ethics and should have good communication skill third category is basic medical sciences it should be either affiliated or non affiliated non medical or medical person with qualifications in basic medical sciences will be the basic medical scientist member is a clinician so it should be individual with recognized medical qualification expertise and training and legal expert should be the should have a degree in law a social scientist philosopher or ethicist or theologian should be individual uh, who is having experience or training in social or behavioral science philosophy religious qualification etc or can be from an ngo involved in health related activity a learned person will be the should be a literate person from the public or community has not pursued any medical science or health related career in the last 5 years may be a representative of community and this person should be aware of the local language cultural and moral values of the community and this person will help you to interact with the community level so what are the guideline for designing a clinical study protocol first one based on ics guideline gcp should be followed while doing clinical trial first one as a project we have to think about from the study summary there should be a project title like that a protocol title is the title we have to submit for the irb submission and the product title protocol title should be in relation to the application changes in the procedure or what may be the expected result like that must match the title of the protocol then first one protocol title followed by the study phases what are the phases we are planning to include duration of the study methodology where we are doing the study site approximate number of the subject then name title address and telephone number of the pi that is the principal investigator co investigator sponsors and study coordinators and finally the investigators action these are the main things should include in the study protocol so first we have to have a objective or rational or question what is the need of study purpose of the study and we should clearly write in the research hypothesis and based on that we have to do further discussion on the project feasibility if we are doing the clinical trial what are the benefits for that what we can do the what are the details of resources we can do what are the skills and experience needed for completing the study if any pilot plan study information needed also we can in tell in the objectives of the clinical then we have to think about the clinical study designs whether it is primary or secondary endpoints are the we have to tell then we have to tell the design will able to answer the research question and we can include the study design based on our requirement we can choose either single or double blind observational randomized based on our requirement we can choose the study design and we should include the amount of dosage dosing regimen packaging all the thing should be well 
written in the clinical study design. Then next thing is very very important the inclusion and exclusion criteria of the subject. In inclusion subject and exclusion criteria normally women of childbearing potential they are not totally excluded from the participating in research. However, pregnant women should be also included. If any clear justification is that like that only, mostly we are excluding the women of childbearing potential as well as pregnant women. And normally we are trying to enroll the persons of diverse racial and ethnical backgrounds. These are done. This background, if you are helping for the study, we can choose the diverse racial and ethnic background person for the benefit of the research. But we have to choose in the equal numbers. After choosing the thing, we have to create an informed consent and should be signed from the participant or the volunteer. The informed consent will provide an information about the regulatory requirement and we should note that according to the local language of the participant we have to give the informed consent and in the informed consent we should take precaution if the volunteer is a children or personer or cognitively impaired and critically ill subject we should do the additional safeguard and we should create a code of ethics specify the code of ethics and the ethics should be followed by each person and the copy of the proposed informed consent we have to keep with us for the further time so we will start the study after that sometime uh, the adverse event may report in that case we have to report any adverse event is the any anticipated adverse event should be clearly documented and we have to identify the type and duration of the follow-up also should be included in the adverse event reporting. Finally, our ultimate aim is that to assess the safety and efficacy, right? So, we should be specific about the efficacy parameter, time for how what we should include by using which method what are the things we are assessed. We should clearly record it and analyze the efficacy parameter and we should specify the safety parameter and we have to report it carefully. If any adverse event are there, we should report in the safety efficacy part. After that, we have to mention about the data access. Who are the person accessible about it? What are the statistical methods in group? and the publication and presentation and we should include the timeline also that is it include a short paragraph stating when you are planning to start and when you are planning to complete the study and we should include a description how many subjects enrolled within a month data collection within six months like that we have to write the time some cases we should select the vulnerable and special group like research participant pregnant or nursing woman Normally, we are excluding like pregnant woman, nursing woman or fetuses or nursing infect like that. We are not excluding. Then comes the next category that is children. So, our purpose of research is that to obtain the knowledge whether it is helpful for the health related to the children. In such case, the study in ch children we are carrying out at the phase 3 clinical trial in adults. Normally, we are excluding children. If we want to include the child or minor person, we are considering minors up to 70 years. So, in that case also, we have to get the consent from the parents. In that case, child and parent can obtain adequate medical as well as psychological support while take part in the clinical trial. Vulnerable group means if you want to carry out a research on genetics should not be inequalities or the person who are economically or socially disadvantaged. So in that case, it is a vulnerable group 
then mentally challenged and mentally differently able person in that case also this are coming under vulnerable groups so in that three cases the thing is that not able to give the informed consent so this category of people we are considering as vulnerable groups so this are the safety related part of clinical trial one more thing is the you may come across one word pvti that is pharmacovigilance program of india this is a program launched in 2010 14 this is done to capture the adverse drug reaction in india population in a systematic way actually this is coordinated by the ipc gasia ba and the main objective of pvpi is that to main monitor the adverse drug reaction in the indian population so these are the important things related to the clinical trial i hope this will be helpful for you if you find useful please share to your friends thank you